as I often start videos, um, I'm going to start this one by saying it's been a little while since I've made a video. Uh, for those of you that follow my videos regularly, you'll know that my wife fell and broke her elbow recently, and that's that's made life really quite tricky. Um, she's doing remarkably well. She's an absolute hero, but she can't drive, which has meant that I'm taking the kids to school and picking them up every day. Um, I'm doing all the errands that they're doing, and this is our, the absolute busiest time of the year for her business. And that's been a bit of a nightmare because I've had to drive her around as well. Um, not all the time. She's doing a lot of walking, but even that's proved quite painful for us. So life's kind of got in the way recently, but um, I thought it would be interesting to tell you about something that happened to me at the gym the other day. Um, this is tonight's tonight's little beverage is a, a rather pleasant Martinique rum. It's it smells absolutely delightful and it's got a kick like an angry mule. Um, it's fantastic. It's a present from uh, a friend of mine whose family are from Martinique originally and he recently went over and spent some time with them. And he brought me this back as a, as a gift when he came back and 50% <laughs> proof beautiful, but my God, does it, um, does it let you know it's there? Anyway, the rum aside, that's not what I wanted to talk to you about. I wanted to talk to you about me being an absolute idiot and how that proved to me that a lot of the limits we impose upon ourselves are purely arbitrary and are just in our minds. As you may well know, I've lost a lot of weight recently and I've been working out quite a lot and I'm following quite a strict training routine down at the gym. And I was at a, a different gym to the, the from the one I normally go to the other day. And I write everything down. So I've got a little notebook I take in with me and it's got the weights from, from when I last did that particular thing. And there's one of the one of the days, my chest and tricep day. And after the warm up and stretching and, and just general range of motion stuff that I do to start off with, the first uh, weight based exercise is a barbell bench press. Uh, six to eight reps uh, over four sets. And I, I normally go in, according to my little book, I've got the bar plus 40k. You know, it's not a phenomenally uh, heavy bench press. But considering I'm doing four sets of between six and eight reps with this, um, it's, it's pretty reasonable. And that's, that's what my book said in it. And I got the first set was just unbelievably hard work. And I figured, you know, sometimes you're just not quite in it. You know, that you're not quite in the zone and it just isn't working. But often the first set's just a hard set. And the second one's a little bit easier. It's almost like you need to, to, to blow the dust out a little and then you can, the second set, you can really, really get, get going through. But the second set was even harder. And, and I couldn't quite work out what was going on. And I thought, you know, well, I'm just going to have to, um, just going to have to accept the fact that I'm going to have to step it down. And clearly for some reason, I'm not, I'm just not on form today. I managed six reps for the first and the second set and you just, effectively what I do if I can get to eight I up the weight and and then I get it so I can just manage six and that's what I was doing and I at the third set I just couldn't do it so I dropped the weight I took off took off some of the weight lowered it down and and finished the four sets and it was only when I was taking the weight off the bar which which I do and I know that makes me stand out like a sore thumb at most gyms that I realized that I was a complete and utter idiot because I hadn't been doing my four sets of six to eight reps with an Olympic bar plus 40 kilograms. I'd been doing four sets of six to eight reps with an Olympic bar plus 40 kilograms on each side. So instead of effectively 60 kilograms, I'd been trying to do it with a hundred kilograms. 
And because I hadn't realized that I'd messed up, I'd just done it. And I don't get me wrong, it was hard. But those first two sets where I managed it, I, I really did. And, and it, the very bottom and the very top were, were tricky, as you would expect. And, and down is always easier than up, but you know, such is life. But I'd done it and I'd stepped it down to um, 35 on each side and that had made it a, a somewhat easier and I'd, and I'd finished my second two sets at, at that. And it was only afterwards that I realized that clearly the numbers that I'd put on, on my ability up to that point were, were just wrong. But until I'd proved to myself that they were wrong, I had no idea. It felt like I was maxing out at between six to eight reps on, on 60 kilograms, whereas clearly I wasn't. Now, to a degree, we can write that off as improvement because I've been doing this for a little while now and obviously you get stronger and as you lift, you get better at lifting and you get stronger and you're able to lift more, your technique improves and the whole thing. But that's quite a step up, I feel, to effectively step up by 60%, 66.6 recurring percent of the weight that you're lifting and still manage it makes me realize that well, uh, that I'm an idiot and that I can't trust myself when it turns out I can't do it. So I thought it would be interesting to share. I wonder if any of you have had similar experiences. Have you found yourself doing something that you just didn't know you could do because nobody had told you that you couldn't do it or because you'd messed up and you, you assumed you could? Um, it's a bit of a bit of an interesting experience and it's it certainly opened my eyes to a lot of stuff so now when I feel like I can't do something I'm I'm not sure I believe myself anymore so so on that note I'll I'll show you. do 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 let me know if, if something similar has occurred to you or if you're just not quite as stupid as me uh, apologies for the clothes I know I don't normally slob around in, in, in a grubby old vest but as you can probably see, I've had a little bit more work done on, on, on the tattoo. Sorry, that was probably really quite loud. Um, and shirts and t-shirts are rubbing a little at the moment. So I'm covered in cream and wearing as little clothing as I can get away with. So uh, take care, guys, and I'll see you soon. Don't forget to like the video, uh, click the thumbs up, stick something in the comments, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Take care.